what is up you guys catch me wearing the same clothes um in another video that you're gonna see go up after this one because i'm filming a very long like multi-day video and i'm also gonna record this one while i'm in my car <laughs> What's up you guys welcome to my channel or welcome back my name is lily if you don't know now you do i am going to do a little drive with me vlog and discuss my goals for 2020 i'm not calling them resolutions because that sounds like i'm gonna give up on them but no these are goals i have for 2020 um some of them are specifically like spring semester because that's coming up real quick i moved back to school a week from today to start ra training and then we start classes on the 21st and it is the fifth i think something like that but we're starting soon ah let's start talking about some goals um <clears throat> so my first goal for 2020 is setting a better routine for myself because I try really hard to have a good routine in fall semester of 2019. Is my camera really shaking right now? Can we not do this? I tried really hard. I was not the best at sticking to it. But I want to have like a really good routine and schedule so that I am like going to the gym, getting my studying and homework done, um, like getting up and being a human being and not just rolling out of bed and being a zombie for the whole semester. So goal number one, solid routine. Goal number two, I want straight A's this semester. That is the goal. I want straight A's, which kind of ties into my having a good schedule because I need to get better about like studying and note taking and doing readings for class because I'm the worst at not reading for class. And I think it's <laughs> I think it's really hurt, hurt me in the grade department. So I want to get straight A's this semester. That is the goal. And then obviously straight A's in the fall as well. So like my goal for 2020, straight A's all year. Another goal is I want to stretch every morning. My I was pretty good for the second half of the semester about doing a little sun salutations, um, yoga flow when I got up in the morning. But I did it really quick, like 30 seconds, and like was done. But now I want to actually like stretch, do my sun salutations every morning, and you know, like, I don't know, just prepare myself for the day, I guess. I also want to meditate every morning and every night before bed. It's a goal. It doesn't have to be a long meditation. It can just be like, you know, a couple minutes doing my thing and I want to journal every night because I've noticed recently that I can't sleep <laughs> because my brain is going a million miles an hour and not in like a bad way not like a spiral of self-destruction because you know it had those um <laughs> But like, just, I have so many things I wanna do and I wanna accomplish and that I need to do and I need to accomplish. And I feel like if I meditate and journal and like write a little, okay, here's all the things I'm thinking about, brain dump, here's all the things I need and want to get done, it will help me clear my brain so that I can actually sleep. Because that is gonna be really important in my, you know, getting up, doing things and maintaining a schedule and getting straight A's. Sleep is really important. So I wanna sleep better, which involves journaling and meditating every night, or at least I think it does, so we're gonna try it. Another goal I have for the year is to start going back to the gym, which I know, I know, cliche, everybody wants to get fit for the new year. But I was really good about going to the gym for a while, and then my schedule was wonky, like wonky. Haley, I said that because of you. Um. <laughs> I know you're gonna watch this at some point. Um, my schedule was just whack and I didn't have good times that worked to go to the gym because the gym on campus has whack hours. But now I'm gonna make it happen. If that means I have to pay for a freaking membership off campus just so I can go to the gym when I have the time, I don't wanna spend the money, but I'll do it. 
because I am always just tired and lethargic. Oh, I hate that word. I don't know why I don't like that word, but I don't. Um, and I feel like making myself move is going to help with my energy levels. I want to not like be more social, like I'm not social enough because like I socialize, but I want to be more social with different people. So like last semester I went and grabbed coffee before chapter with two of my sisters. That was great. Um, today I'm going to grab shakes with Amber right now. That's great. And I want to try to be more social with my sisters outside of like our planned events because that's great. I love seeing them at planned events, but I want to be more social with them otherwise as well. Because I really spent all my time hanging out with TJ, Alec, and Tom, which isn't a bad thing. I love, I love my boyfriend. I love my sons. My boys have my heart. But I really want to like strengthen relationships with my sorority sisters. Because that's why I did this. That's why I rushed. Was because I wanted to make new friends and meet new people and hang out with new people. And also like, I love TJ to death. He knows I love him to death. I know he's going to watch this. You know I love you to death. But I can't be so dependent on him for my socialization. And I've been talking about that with him. He really is like my strongest social connection. And so when he wants to do something without me, he like feels bad. And I don't want him to feel bad. So I'm going to start doing my own thing socially. Um, another one of my goals is that I want to keep my room really freaking clean. Really clean. Because it's hard, okay? When you live 90% of your life in an 8 by 11 room, it gets messy. If you live in a dorm, you understand. Your room gets messy. I don't have a roommate. Um, in my room, I have sweet mates. But when I lived with a roommate, oh my god, it was even harder because then it was two of us. So, when it's just me, I'm going to hold myself accountable and clean my room. Do a little bit every day and on the weekends, like, clean, clean and get it done. 2020 is about getting my life together and being a functioning adult and not putting off things that I don't want to do because I, you'll hear me say this multiple times this semester, I'm sure. But I'm supposed to be graduating this semester. I am 21. This May is my four-year mark at Rhode Island College. And I should be graduating and joining the real world. But I'm not. I'm graduating late, which is fine. Everybody has their own path. I'm getting two degrees. So I don't mind graduating late. Whatever, whatever. But like... If I was graduating this May, I would not be ready, like, as a human being. So, I want to get better at budgeting, which I've gotten really good at in the past, you know, four or five months. So, I guess the concrete goal I would have having to do with that is I want to double my savings this year, at least, because I'm not going to go into detail because, like, that's my own personal information. But my savings is not as great as I wish it was. It's not as large. So doubling it shouldn't be that hard. I want to have a savings built so that if something were to happen, I'm ready. You know, adult things. So I have like some fitness goals. Like I don't like to track my goals in terms of weight loss um, because the number on the scale doesn't account for everything. So I want, you know, some of my goals are to build up my stamina so that I can get through a three minute intense tap dance, for example, without wanting to vomit after because it's hard. Making myself just feel better. Um, I want to listen to my body more this year. Like, okay, I eat this and my body feels I eat this and my body feels great. I work out, my body feels good after. I, you know, am a lazy butt um, and I feel like garbage and I sleep the day away. You know, it's, it's a lot of listening to yourself. Um, and I feel like as I've gotten older, I've picked up on that. So those are some of, most of my goals for this year. I'm sure 
I'll come up with more as the year goes on because January is not the only time to set and accomplish goals. Um, but this is where I'm starting this year. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Hit that subscribe button down below to keep up with more content from me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!